This is madness! Hey, what's going on guys? It's Guns, back with another gameplay commentary. Hey, I apologize for my lack of uploading. Uh, just wanted to first off tell you guys what was going on. Um, past two weeks, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, when I first started my channel, I wanted to try and upload at least once a week, try to be somewhat consistent, try to get some gameplays out here for you. Um, I ended up getting caught up um, working a lot on my boat, as you guys know, or some of you may not know. I've got a uh, 2006 Malibu Wake Setter uh, VLX. It's a 21 and a half foot wakeboard boat, and me and my wife we live on the lake, so uh, we get out there quite a bit during the spring and summer and fall. Um, so this is really, it's always been a hobby, gaming has been, but I've really focused a lot of my summertime towards um, uh, wakeboarding. I'll still be playing, but I'll, I'll definitely be putting up uh, actual, I want to do what's called a new series. It's going to be called like New Trick Thursday or something, where I kind of try different tricks and stuff. I'm not quite a beginner yet, uh, or not quite a beginner anymore. Um, I've moved on, I've got some inverts and stuff like that, so I'm trying to progress and enter some competitions, and maybe in the future, you know, if I have enough subscribers, things like that, I might uh, upload vlogs or whatever from the actual competitions. Um, anyhow, I don't want to get off topic from that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've been working a lot on the boat, getting it ready for the summer and spring. Uh, a lot of good times should be had on there. Uh, it was last year, it was my first year with the boat. Um, and it's a big learning curve. There's so much responsibility, and it's just you, you sink so much money into it that you have to constantly, um, you know, maintain it so that you're not throwing more money into it. Um, but anyway, also it, it was, you know, the start of March Madness, as you guys saw from the intro clip there, um, and the title, um, biggest tournament for college basketball just came up. Uh, everybody, you know, where your respective team is, Kentucky, which ugh, I hope it is. I hope it's not. Uh, Kentucky, Carolina, uh, any ACC team that you're pulling for, uh, I give you props because that's you know I always uh, root for any ACC team. I, uh, deep down in my heart, I'm a Duke fan, um, and you know you know how that rivalry can turn out between Duke and Carolina. I talked about it in my previous videos before, um, but at, when it comes to NCAA tournament time, um, I'm kind of a different fan. I, I, I pull for the Carolina Tar Heels. I pull for uh, NC State Wolfpack. That's when my wife graduated, and where I actually went for a year. Um, so. It's it's more of a pride thing for being where I'm from, uh, and all those three triad schools just being right here in the backyard. So it's really cool to see all of them doing so well. Uh, we're gonna get into the bracket here uh, shortly, but yeah, like I said, I apologize for the uploads, but I'm back. I should be back on it. Also, there was a reason there was this problem with my uh, my Sony my Sony Vegas. For some reason, it wasn't opening. It was getting hung up on the um, on the opening process, and so. I did some research, and apparently if you have a webcam plugged in at the time you try to open it, it could get hung up. I did all kinds of stuff, talk, talking about deleting caches, uh, uninstalling it, reinstalling, opening it with different profiles. Never worked. But guess what happened just a second ago when I got on here? I was trying to get a video in, uh, tried to fix it, and I read up. Somebody say if you unplug the USB from my webcam, it should work. And voila, here we go. We're making videos from that. So um, we're back. Uh, we're going to be on a consistent schedule again, making at least one upload a week, uh, depending on gameplays. Gameplays in this friggin' game are, oh my gosh, they're so hard to get. But this is a good one. Um, you didn't see from the title, it's uh, 115. Um, There's a score line. Uh, I actually, I think I played pretty well considering I'm playing like two or three Master or Grandmaster Prestige guys in here. They're not full, but they're going for it. I think I want to say they're like. Uh, 17th and 18th prestige or so so it's not like I'm playing scrubs these guys can kill me you'll see they kill me and I actually and I, I am my own demise in this game a lot so uh, I actually kill myself with a bombing run it's fun to use but man the range on that thing is stupid and I wish it didn't kill you anyhow we're gonna get into the commentary here we're gonna be talking about March Madness the NCAA bracket so um, I don't know how you guys the brackets have looked like um, my, it looked pretty good. Uh, I picked the upset of NC State over Villanova. I got that right. Unfortunately, I got Louisville taking NC State um, in the regional semi. Um, let's see here. Michigan State, they kind of surprised me. I, I picked Virginia to go and play uh, NC State, or I mean Louisville in the, uh, the Eastern semifinal or the Eastern final, regional final. Uh, let's see here, and they, they really dropped the ball on that one. Over here in the Midwest, we got Kentucky uh, versus West Virginia, which I actually didn't expect West Virginia to be playing so well, but they have a, a very big potential to beat Kentucky, depending on if they can press the ball 
uh, get those guys in that half court trap and get Kentucky a little flustered. Um, I do believe they can win. So we'll, we'll we'll see. That should be a good game because if they can fluster Kentucky and get them off of their game, I think they could. They got a chance. Kentucky's strong, but they got a chance. So we'll see if they can take them off that historic run that the Kentucky Wildcats are trying to make. So down here in the Midwest, we got the. Uh, Let's see, Notre Dame won an awesome game. If you guys didn't watch that game with Butler, that overtime game, it was absolutely amazing. That was one of the best games I think um, I've, I've seen in a while. That was awesome. So that was good. Notre Dame going to go against Wichita State. They took uh, they took the game against Kansas, uh, the inter interstate rival of Kansas, uh, and that was a good game as well. Wichita State came out blazing. They were ready to win, so. We'll see what, who comes out of that. I hope Notre Dame does their ACC team, so I'll definitely be pulling for them to go up against Kentucky or West Virginia. I think Kentucky will take it, and then ultimately Kentucky is going to end up in the Final Four. Um, we're going to move on down here to the West. Uh, we got Wisconsin over North Carolina. Um, I think North Carolina can beat them, but Wisconsin is very strong, uh, and North Carolina is extremely inconsistent. So I think that is where the road uh, of the March Madness and the, the dancing – uh, stops for North Carolina Tar Heels. I believe they're going to end up uh, falling right there with Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, Xavier, uh, they're going to fall to Arizona. Um, and then I do believe that Wisconsin will take Arizona. That's going to be a good game, though, uh, in the Westerns, the Western final. So uh, let me see here what else we got. In South, uh, that's where my team's at. We got Duke taking on Utah. And then we're going to have UCLA taking on Gonzaga. Gonzaga played very, very strong against Iowa the other night. Um, I think, but I think they can be, I think they can be disrupted. I don't think they're that great. Um, they don't really play much competition in their in their region. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, as you have UCLA, I'm not a fan of UCLA being in where they're at because I think they should have lost in their very first game. I think SMU got absolutely reamed. Uh, that was if, uh, if you guys don't know what happened, SMU um, they were up by two, and UCLA had the ball with the last little bit, and the guy shot a friggin' air ball, man, dude. Shot, I mean, it was a good foot off the goal, and guy went up and he grabbed the ball out of the air. But they said since it, it could have had a chance to hit the rim or, or it was still on the way down or, or whatever, uh, they called a goaltending on it and gave the game basically. At the, it, was, it was a huge game game changing play. I mean, it was at the end. It gave the game to UCLA, and ultimately UCLA ended up beating UAB, who UAB upset Iowa State, which that really jacked my bracket up because I had Iowa State going all the way to the South uh, semifinal and getting beat by Gonzaga. But anyhow, UCLA is playing Gonzaga. I think that'll be a complete just – I'm pretty sure Gonzaga is going to slam boozle them and just, just rip them a new one. So we'll see what happens. Duke's going to take Utah. Uh very, very similar. They're a very good uh, defensive team, just like San Diego State was. Duke came out blazing against San Diego State yesterday and just destroyed them. So uh, we'll see how it happens with Utah. Hopefully they come out with that same intensity. Coach K is always a master of getting his guys to be focused sometimes. It's kind of hard when you're dealing with some of these 19-year-old uh, kids who are just very entitled and have never really had to play as a cohesive group. So. We'll see what happens, man. March Madness is crazy. I love it. It's a very, very exciting time, uh, especially if you're a sports fan. Uh, be sure to leave in your comments below who you guys are interested in, uh, who you're pulling for, who you're rooting for. I really like to see kind of, um, really like to kind of see, you know, what, what the fan base is like. You know, what, what's the majority here? Um, but anyhow, I, I know, uh, I know there's a lot of fans for Carolina Tar Heels all over the place. Duke fans everywhere. I'm kind of curious where the uh, state fans lie because um, there, there's a lot around here, but I don't know how well we travel with the state fans. But that'll be about it for the commentary. So if you're new, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. You know, I'm trying to get better with my commentary. I'm going to talk about uh, interesting things, important things. Um, in the future, we'll be talking about, you know, military military talk. You know, kids ask me, ask me questions all the time. Should I join? Should I not? Um, and so I'll be able to answer questions for that if any of you have them. So hope you guys have a good one. I'm going to throw on a little bit of music here at the end, and I hope you guys have a good day. I'm Guns. Later.